Welcome to our Linux classes. In this lecture, we are going to understand a very demanding and important and interesting topic that is virtualization. We all know that today's scenario is that everything is moving towards virtualization. We have different different technologies like your AWS, OpenStack, Salesforce, Azure. So everything is based on virtualization. So it's today's demand and requirement is that one should have the idea of virtualization. So in this lecture, we'll understand what is virtualization, what is the need of virtualization, why every technology is based on virtualization. This is what we are going to understand in this lecture. And once we'll have the basic idea about virtualization, then we'll do a lab session in which we are going to create a VM machines over to your Linux operating system. So this is what the you know agenda of this complete course section. So let's start. So virtualization is basically we can say it's a technology or a process through which one or more virtual machines can be created, installed, executed and maintained on top of the Linux operating system. Why I'm saying Linux operating system? Because in this section we are going to understand virtualization on Linux. We can do the virtualization on other platform as well. You can do the virtualization over to Windows machine as well. But in this lecture, we are going to understand a Linux virtualization. So virtualization and the concept of virtualization is same for all the technologies, whether you are doing the virtualization over to the Linux operating system or over to the Windows. So virtualization is technology that allows you to create multiple environments or dedicated resources from a single physical hardware. You have a big hardware and in that hardware, physical hardware, you have multiple resources like you have enough CPUs, you have enough memories, DVD, NIC card, hard disk and over to that physical hardware machine, physical machine, you are going to create the virtual machines. Virtualization is the ability for a computer system to share resources so that one physical server can act as a multiple or many virtual machines or servers. Virtualization allows the sharing of resources such as your hard disk, memory, network, CPU, this is, etc. So whatever the resources we have on our physical servers, we can share with your VM machines. So this is the basic idea about virtualization. Let me try to explain the whole concept of virtualization with an example. So let me move to my PPT to a figure you can see here so that you can understand what is virtualization and uh, why everything is moving to the virtualization. So here you can see that I have a one physical server. Your physical should, server could be from any hardware. It could be Solaris. It could be, you know, it could be from Sun, your HP, your Dell servers. Okay. This is one big server I have. Okay. In that physical server, big physical server, why I'm saying big because in that physical server we have enough RAM, enough hard disk, CPUs, eight, 16 core CPUs, DVDs, multiple NIC cards are connected and your RAM is something like 128 GB RAM I have. Now I have to you know install an application. So simple I can install an operating system over to this physical machine okay and I can install that application. Say for example I have to install SAP application. SAP application is running on my physical server and my SAP application say for example 100 users are connected with that application and the requirement of my SAP application is just like your 20 GB of RAM and uh, 4 CPU cores required and 200 of hard disk is required and 4 5 NIC cards are required but in that physical server I have 128 GB of physical RAM hard disk is somewhere around 1000 GB or maybe 2 terabyte hard disk I have CPUs I have 16 core CPU, DVD, NIC cards, I have 16 NIC cards are connected. So what will happen here, a single application is running on my big server. So my server would be underutilized because I am running a single application on a physical server on which I have installed an operating system. It could be any operating system Linux. So what would be your next step? Why you can, how you can make your server more effective? To make it more effective, what we can do, we can run multiple application on the same servers. We can run application, SAP application, we can run Java, we can run email server, we can run DNS, your database servers, everything we are running on the same server. So what will happen? Your server will be utilized. 
whatever the resources you have on your servers that would be properly utilizing because we have enough CPU and enough hard disk memory so everything will be allocated to each application but one problem is here whatever the applications we are running on your system on your physical server that would be running on a single operating system your operating system should be single now here we have a big server over to big server we have installed one operating system and on that operating system multiple applications are running although your servers is properly utilized but it won't be effective you won't get much performance reason being a single operating system has to manage a lot of resources a lot of applications here so all in result what will happen you will start getting issues and it would be difficult to manage the server as well let me tell you how suppose you know one of your application sap application is creating some issue okay and while doing the troubleshooting we come to know that we have to reboot the server if you are going to reboot the server on which the sap application is running what will happen you have to take the downtime from other application as well java email dns db servers because a lot of applications are running on the same operating system so it means that if you are going to down your system you have to take the downtime from all the applications so that would be you know not an easy task so to overcome from this problem what we have done the virtualization come into the picture so here what we can do we can run we can create multiple virtual machines here we have you can see that this is the physical server i have on that physical server i have created multiple virtual machines and each virtual machine have its own operating system say for example the vm machine 1 is having linux operating system vm 2 is having windows vm 3 is again having solaris i can say and vm 3 is also linux now i can do one thing i can install my sap application on my vm 1 my java is on vm 2 email server is running on vm 3 and my dns or database server is running vm 4 and vm 5 as well we can create multiple vms as well so that would be easy for us for managing purpose also if sap application is creating an issue you have to take the reboot you can simply down your vm 1 and make it up it will not affect your other vms so this is what the concept of virtualization we can say that so here the concept of virtualization is to create multiple vms over to your physical machine okay so this is called virtualization so virtualization we can say it's a technology which is used to create multiple virtual operating systems on one physical machine so what is the advantage we have already understand one more good advantage is that a user can save capital as well because if you'll we'll go for separate you know physical servers for each application that would be you know costly so to make it cost effective what we have done we have simply created virtual machines and each of your application is running on your vms so it's a save capital as well by we cannot purchasing multiple physical computer machines and also we can share the resources from your physical machine to your logical machines so what we have we are doing here so we are sharing the resources i have 64 ram in my physical server i am giving 10 10 or whatever required like suppose i am my requirement is 8 gb so i am allocating 8 gb ram to this machine 10 gb here 6 gb here so like this way what what is the requirement we can allocate the physical allocate the resources to my vms and good part is that you can increase and decrease your resources as per the requirement as well so how to achieve this virtualization to achieve this virtualization we have the technology or mechanism that is called hypervisor so the mechanism of virtualization is controlled by hypervisor okay in linux operating system there are some default hypervisor such as your xen kemo and kvm so let me again moving to this so we understand that virtualization is just to create the multiple vms but how to achieve this how we can achieve how we can do the virtualization for that the mechanism or technology we can say it's a hypervisor our hypervisor or virtual machine monitor vmm is a computer software firmware or hardware we can say that create and runs virtual machines so the managing each and everything your virtual machines you if you are creating the virtual machines on a machine 
and to maintaining for that we are using hypervisor a computer on which the hypervisor runs one or more virtual machines is called the host machine and your each virtual machines the your vms are called guest machines so what it is saying that so this is physical server is called your host machine so terminology we need to understand here so physical server okay on which we are going to install vms that is called your host machine and your vm machines that we call guest machine so the computer on which hypervisor runs one or more virtual machine is called your host machine and each virtual machine vm is called your guest machine so this is what the virtualization we have you know uh, different types of you know hypervisors like your zen kimo and kvm so this is what we are going to understand in the next lecture so that's all for this lecture i in the next lecture we'll understand about uh, the different hypervisors we have and uh, how we can do the virtualization so thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture